Hey everybody, Coach Toolshed here with some shocking news. If you can possibly believe it, Bethesda, yes I know, Bethesda, has been caught lying. Let's get into it. Now I didn't want to make another Bethesda video right away after the last one, but we had some news come out yesterday when Bethesda released their update notes for the update that's going to be coming out next week. And wouldn't you know it, They've gone back on one of their things that they said during the marketing cycle. Once again, they have decided to introduce non-cosmetic items into the loot shop in the form of consumable repair kits. That is important. They are consumable repair kits that you will be allowed to purchase in the Atomic Shop. We don't know what the pricing is yet, but of course, Bethesda said that they've done a lot of research and listened to a lot of player feedback, and they were told that repair kits were very much sought after by the player public, so they are excited to sell them to you starting on Monday of next week. So I'm sure people that are still playing the game will be very excited to know that they will be able to hoard repair kits. They won't have to worry about finding an armor bench or a weapons repair bench out in the wild when they're trying to fight some enemies. So while that is handy, of course, you don't want to have to pay for it. And Bethesda, of course, assures us that we will be able to to earn them in the game but of course the real key is that they want to sell them to you in the atomic shop now I know a lot of people will say coach you are making a mountain out of a molehill once again and every time someone says that I will answer with the same thing this has nothing to do with them selling repair kits in and of themselves this is the fact that they have once again gone back on one of the promises they made multiple times during the marketing when it came to what sort of items would be available in the atomic shop and I had so many arguments with so many people and they thought that the ultimate card to lay down when they wanted to win the argument was they said hey they said it's cosmetics only it's cosmetics only you can't argue with that it's cosmetics only this won't affect gameplay and now when we had the issue earlier in the year where Bethesda was selling those temporary boosters in the atomic shop if you bought one of these special outfits for the event they were having it provided you with a temporary health buff it lasted about a week and people said coach this isn't a big deal this is just a temporary buff you're making too much out of this and I said okay well I disagree but hey if you're fine with being lied to repeatedly during the marketing process of the game that's on you I can't help it if you are totally fine with Pete Hines and Todd Howard and the Bethesda community managers and the people that Bethesda likes to call influencer managers. Yeah, they introduced one of those people during the panel last week. I meant to touch on that. Can you think of a scummier name to have for a job title than influencer manager? Ooh, you got to manage those influencers, right? Can't just let them have their own opinions. Those need to be managed. But anyway, before the game came out, we were all assured that they would be selling nothing of any relevant value besides skins in the cosmetic shop. And we all know that that is now going to be untrue because in their own update, they said that they will be selling these repair kits in the atomic shop. And these are clearly not skins. They are consumable items. There is no doubt about that. And... I just gotta say it once again when it comes to Fallout 76, I told you all this was going to happen several months ago, well before the game launched, and I got into so many arguments with people, and they told me that I was crazy, that Bethesda would never do this. They wouldn't tarnish the Fallout 76 name, and they certainly wouldn't lie to their fans, and as we've seen over the last several months, that all that they seem to do is lie to us repeatedly, and of course... For people who know better, we know that they've gone back lying well over a decade. Now they lie to us constantly, whether it be at E3 or in press conferences. I have done multiple videos back last year talking about the various lies of Bethesda Game Studios when it comes to marketing their games. They will say literally anything when it comes to marketing their games. And I just touched on this briefly last week when we talked about Elder Scrolls 6 and how they already put out that faux documentary highlighting about how much extra work and all they new technology that they're going to be using for Elder Scrolls 6 and I told you just don't buy into the hype because please you cannot still be taking Todd Howard seriously and I know I just did a video discussing this very topic last week so I'm not going to go into it again because I just literally talked about this I don't know seven days ago I think something like that so I'm not going to get back into it again 
I will say this though, expect this to continue and expect this to progressively get worse because as often happens when it comes to video game monetization, which is something I'm tired of talking about, but what happens is they start off with small little things like temporary buffs and now they add stuff like small consumable temporary items and next thing you know who knows how far they're willing to go it is bethesda after all and they have shown that they have zero shame when it comes to just backtracking on stuff they said they will try to lie and obfuscate they will try to say that they never said the things they did but of course it's all been well cataloged. You can go back and listen to Pete Hines' quotes. You can go back and look at his Twitter feed from last year, unless he's deleted his posts. Who knows? Pete's been MIA from Twitter for quite a while. Or you could go back and listen to my many videos from last year where I predicted all of this happening, and you can find the relevant quotes there because I went over all this stuff many months ago, and I told you everyone this was going to ha be happening. I know I keep saying that, but you know what? It feels right when you're right after so many people told you that you were most definitely wrong. But anyway, that's it for me, Coach Toolshed. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Please subscribe if you want to stay in tune with the channel. Head forward, and as always, keep it turned to 11.